Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 6 onto your device for free. Uh, now this does not require you guys to uh, have your UDID code registered or anything, nor does it require you to have an Apple developer account or anything like that. This is completely free and uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Now all the links to all the downloads you guys will need are in the description below so let's get straight on into it. Now the first thing you guys are going to need is the latest version of iTunes. Uh, I will have uh, the link to that in the description below. It is a beta version, it isn't out to the public yet, uh, which is why you guys are going to have to download it from the link uh, down below uh, instead of actually updating your current version of iTunes. Uh, now, as soon as it's opened up, uh, what I first recommend that you guys do is back up your device, uh, the device that you are about to update to iOS 6. Um, so let's come over here. Uh, I actually already uh, took the trouble of already doing that so I could make this video shorter for you guys. I don't really need to back it up right now. So I'm going to cancel the backup. Uh, and you guys are actually going to, uh, this will not work if you guys are jailbroken, so what you guys are going to have to do uh, is restore back to iOS 5.1.1. Uh, if you guys need to download that IPSW, again, link is in the description. Um, so if you're on a PC, just hold Shift. If you're on a Mac, hold, uh, I believe it's Option. Uh, and then press Restore on your computer. Uh, now this will bring up this window here, which will let you select your IPSW uh, file. Now here uh, is mine, iOS 5.1.1, uh, for the iPhone 3GS, because I'm doing it on a 3GS. But you guys can download the version that you need to uh, down below in the description. Uh, so this is going to take a little while to restore just the regular uh, if you guys are familiar with restoring your device uh, Then it isn't going to take longer than usual or anything. It's just like a regular restore uh, So as soon as this is done, I will be right back uh, and show you guys what to do next Okay, everyone thanks to movie magic. I am back uh, and as soon as the restore is done uh, if you guys are on an iPod touch or iPad uh, Wi-Fi version then you guys are good to go from here uh, but if you guys are on an iPhone or an iPad with a 3G connection something that needs to be activated uh, and you guys see this screen on iTunes that says um, there's no SIM card installed in the iPhone or iPad or whatever that you guys are trying to activate uh, this is the point uh, at which you guys actually need to activate your device uh, and this is very very important for the next step uh, so what I like to do uh, is I don't really use my SIM tool, I don't even know where I've put it. Uh, so I just open up my SIM tray using a paper clip uh, and put in my SIM card. So I've got my SIM card uh, on my phone or on the SIM tray and pop it into the device. Now it says disconnect and then put it back in. So I've disconnected my phone and here put it back in. Now iTunes should read it uh, in a second. Um, we can probably actually begin activation here as well. Uh, it's a setting language. You can change this later inside of settings if you so desire. And I don't know if you guys can see, but in the background it is actually uh, in the process of activating, I believe. So that's good. Uh, so here we have our selectors and everything. Um, and I don't want to enable location services. Uh, actually, you know, I think I'll go with that. Yes. Here's my Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I'll fill all of this in and be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I just want to tell you guys that it is very, very important that you hit set up as a new iPhone. So after you've done that, uh, you can actually, I'm going to skip this step. I don't want to put in my Apple ID right now. I'm going to save some time. Um, hit agree, hit agree here. Um, I'm going to go with don't send. It depends on you guys and start using iPhone. Now on your computer, uh, you should probably hit the same thing. Instead of restoring from your backup, hit setup as a new iPhone. Uh, hit continue, um, hit done, and uh, wait for this stuff to happen. Now after the sync is done, and I'm going to wait for my device to sync up, uh, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and so uh, if everything had happened and you finished your sync and everything, uh, this is the screen you should see. Uh, your software version will be uh, on iOS 5.1.1 and this is the point where you're actually going to update to iOS 6.0. So as I said before, it's very important that you're activated at this point because um, this is the actual point of activation. iOS 6, uh, when you update to iOS 6, you're not really uh, going to be activating your device but rather um, just updating it. 
So uh, what you have to do now uh, is hit shift uh, or hold down the shift key if you're on a PC or, or option key if you're on a Mac as I told you guys before. Uh, and then click on the check for update button. Now this will open up this window again, but instead of any of those IPSWs, you guys are going to select the iOS 6.0 IPSW. Now I do have mine here for the iPhone 2GS, but this does depend on what device uh, you guys are actually updating to. As previously mentioned, all the downloads will be in the description below, so that's very easy. All you have to do is select it and then hit open. And then it says iTunes will update your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad, that's a variable right there. Uh, that will change, uh, that's going to be a different word depending on what your device you're using, to iOS 6.0 and will verify the update with Apple. All you have to do after that is hit update and then uh, it's going to go through the update software, uh, or the update process rather. Now once it's done, I will be right back and show you guys that everything is working uh, properly. Okay guys, so my phone did just boot up, so I'm going to slide to unlock, and as you guys can see, uh, I am on iOS 6, as you guys can see right here, uh, I do have the Passbook application, um, so, and it is fully functioning, so if I open up the application, you guys can see, um, you can check out all this stuff here. Uh, I'm actually very new to Passbook, I have no idea how to use it, but the sync is going on at the top, so my device is actually syncing, um, and everything. But, uh, yeah, it seems to work fine as of now. Uh, I'm not very sure um, what to do next. Uh, okay, so the settings application icon has actually changed a little bit, uh, if you guys can tell. I don't know if you guys can tell through the camera. Um, but opening up the settings application, you guys can also see the top bars there. We have do not disturb, um, privacy. If I go into general uh, and about, uh, you guys can see I am now on iOS 6.0 which is the 10A something build, it's kind of difficult to say, but there we go. Um, anyway guys, so this is going to be fully functioning, there is absolutely nothing you guys have to worry about, you will have all the new features, it does have all the Facebook integration that you guys uh, may have been wanting. Anyway uh, guys, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I sincerely hope that it did help uh, all of you guys out. Um, anybody who was looking for a fix or if anyone was looking for a way to do this for free um, and if it did help you out it would be awesome if you guys could leave this video a thumbs up uh, also uh, to support my channel uh, and also to stay updated with all my latest content you guys can hit the subscribe button above this video anyway guys thank you very much for checking out I do hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in my next one peace